no matter what happened to us, um, if I was feeling slighted or unhappy or whatever, her first, the first thing out of her mouth would be, offer it up. Hmm. Offer hmm. it up. Remember that? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> offer it up. <laughs> A lot of the time when she would say that would be times where mm -hmm. I would be in disputes with my sister, who was her child. Mm -hmm. That was her child. I was not her child. I was the scapegoat. So when there would be some dispute or unfairness, mm -hmm. and there usually was this real unfairness, well, just offer it up. There, there was one scene, and mm -hmm. I don't remember the problem. I don't mm -hmm. remember what I was offering mm -hmm. up. <laughs> she didn't say mm -hmm. angrily, but mm -hmm. just well, offer it up. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I really needed to explain. She didn't mm -hmm. understand. She didn't hear you. She didn't hear me. Mm -hmm. She didn't understand. And mm -hmm. that's all I remember, mm -hmm. just being there. What I like to try is just mm -hmm. first thing, try the Jesus help me to perceive your presence mm -hmm. and see what, okay. see if that works. All right, all right. Lord Jesus, where were you at that place, Lord? Would you help me to see where you were when I was a little girl in that, in the backyard there? I'm not hearing, I'm hearing like roaring, hmm. like um, it seems kind of a demonic roaring and I think it's more coming from where my mother was standing. Hmm. Hmm. So and not, it's red. Not hmm. perceiving the Lord's presence in any way that, that you're aware of. Not but you yet. have this red, this roaring. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like that's blocking him. Mm -hmm. I can sense that that little girl feels she can't forgive because that would make her vulnerable. Hmm. And mm -hmm. she really, mm -hmm. her mother's so scary as it is, yeah. if she forgives and becomes vulnerable to that, mm -hmm. what would happen? Well, that, that little girl that feels mm -hmm. like you're kind of talking to me and sort of mm -hmm. connected, here's this thought that comes to me. I, my guess, is that if you actually, and the little girl right there, okay, so you can feel you're, you're still bitter, you're still angry at your mother, and you're afraid to forgive her, right? Mm -hmm. And the demons are saying, well, we've, we've got a right to be here because you're still choosing to hold on to the bitterness. That's, what, that's the situation we've got. The thought I had was, I wouldn't be surprised if you, the little girl I'm talking to, if you ask Jesus, Lord, help me to perceive your presence, whether he, whether you'd be able to perceive his presence even though the demons are still there, and then he could help you figure out what to do with the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I just see this light, and I'm just hearing, I'm there, I know. Hmm. It doesn't hurt as much. Hmm. If I'm mad, it doesn't hurt as much. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if he seems to be saying that if the mad keeps my heart from him, mm. 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 but I don't know how to get unmad. Mm. Jesus has been helping me to understand my mother and why she reacted in the way that she had mm. when I was young. Now when you think back, and it try, if you think back in the backyard, you mm -hmm. picture being there, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. fair, your mother, you, you're trying to get her to understand you, she just has offered up, she doesn't listen to you, she doesn't attune to you, right. she doesn't understand you, Right. any bitterness there? No. You're no. sure you... I, you... I am so certain, because okay. that healing translated into many other areas of my life in relationships with my mother.